we're going to go over a basic linear equation. Linear is what it's called when it's just x and not x squared or x cubed. And you see over here on the right, I've got a protocol that we're going to follow. Right, this guy over here. And what I want to do is get x by itself. That's my ultimate goal. But I need to start farther away from x. That'll make everything a lot easier. And when I say farther away from x, I mean, look over here. There's a few things that make x not by itself, the 6 and the 7. Because the 7 is further away, that's where I'm going to start. So here's how I approach this. I'm going to identify what's going on here. Okay, And when I say what's going on, I mean what operations are happening. That's an addition problem right there, the plus 7. And this over here, this 6x, that means multiplication. Okay, So I'm going to have to work those things out by doing the opposite operations. So I'm going to start with that 7 because it's further away from x. And I'm going to hit it with a minus 7. And if I do that on the left, I have to do it on the right also. I have to do the same thing on both sides. So what do I get? Well, we add up the 7 and the negative 7, and those sort of just cross out. So I get 6x equals, well, negative 2 minus 7, that's negative 9. Okay, now I'm going to keep on working my way closer to x. This time it's the 6 that's closest. And if you remember, um, that's multiplication from up top. So what I'm going to do is the opposite operation. I'm going to do division. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And those cross out on the left. That gives me x equals negative 9 over 6. Now, that's a fine answer. It's, it's not all the way simplified, and chances are you're probably going to want to simplify it further. So if you remember how to reduce fractions, I'm not going to go over that in uh, super great detail here, but I'm looking for something that I can divide on top and divide on bottom. It has to be the same, right? So that's going to cross out, and that's going to give me... Uh, let's see, negative 3 over 2. Okay, so that would be my answer. That's how to solve a linear.